Hello, what a beautiful day today. My name is Ramel Abular Libria and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the blessings I received when I started working in hotel industry in 1994. And uh, I know this is going to help you when you get invited to a wedding, a debut meeting or seminars. I don't have any assistant nor covering me when I was doing this video, so pardon me if it's gonna move a bit. And uh, at this time, I, wanted like to, I would like to share with you or help you identify different types of utensils, glasswares, and at least four, kind of, four kinds of table setup. So let's start. nice huh I have light on my head it's like I'm the exalted one <laughs> all right first off the dinner knife the dinner knife is about nine inches long and it is partnered with a dinner fork yeah they're both uh, nine inches long the dinner knife Dinner knife and dinner fork can be used when you eat pork, chicken, duck, beef, fish courses as well. You can use this dinner knife and dinner fork. Now, in the event that the guest ordered steak or beef, any type of beef, Beef tenderloin, sirloin steak, Chateaubriand, T-bone steak, porterhouse steak. If you have a dinner knife, then you can use this. Pero, if you have a steak knife, then replace the steak knife dun sa guest, or rather use this instead of the dinner knife because this is sharper. This is more pointed. You see the difference? This is quite universal. This can also be universal, but specifically, it is, this is used in beef menus. Because again, it's sharper. And it is partnered with a dinner fork. Now, when you order a fish course, for example, lapu-lapu or garupa or garup, halibut, salmon you can use fish knife and fish fork now actually the the real fish fork <laughs> i was trained with is it only has three tines but this is at least a, a, a prototype so at least uh, three tines tines like this tines for the fish fork so if you notice here meron siyang gatla and also the fork, you see, it has also this, um, I don't know, gatla or gaps. You can use this because, you know, in the kitchen, we fillet the fish. We remove and the bone. No, we, we debone or we remove the bones. In case may matira, in case something's left, then use fish knife, fish fork, and then use the gatla to take it out. So this is the fish knife and the fish fork. This is approximately 9 inches long as well. Now, if you order a salad then use a salad fork salad fork is about seven inches long it is partnered with a salad out oh, salad knife and salad fork partner with salad fork all right yeah the difference it looks like a dinner knife but you see again this is nine inches this is about uh, seven inches yung tuna ya yung talaga mas ginagamit sa mga fine dining then, unlike the spoon that we use in our house, it's more oblong. So, this is soup spoon or bouillon spoon. This is used for uh, soup, creamy soup or what you call this, um, thin soup or clear soup. 
and so some kind of uh, noisy because somebody chat me and we're just gonna dispatch that for now now here is the butter spreader this is smaller this is not a fish knife you see your fish knife is nine inches long and this is about uh, five inches long five to six inches long butter spreader or butter knife then we have the teaspoon na misan kinalulungkot ko these days they use this as dessert spoon ah. anyway this is the demita spoon this is used for um, espresso coffee the one that's stronger than the regular brewed coffee you see the difference teaspoon then the demita spoon and then you have the escargot fork then you have the cocktail fork uh, sadly, I don't have an escargot tong. It has a partner. It has a tong. No, the partner is supposed to be an escargot tong, and this is escargot fork. Escargot is a French snail. No, you put a tong and then you just use this to get the meat, and then you eat. This is naman the cocktail fork that you use. For example, cocktail shrimp or smoke salmon for your appetizers now we have a long teaspoon that we use for desserts parfait ice cream okay then we have the serving spoon and serving fork you usually see this in buffet also professional waiters when we serve the food Russian style, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do a different or another vlog about it. This is what we use to serve in the uh, Russian service. Kasi you use this as tong, you see? Now this is easy, you can practice this at home. You see my ring finger, my ring finger is outside and the little finger and the middle finger, <laughs> the middle finger supports it now the pointer finger and my thumb yan is holding the serving fork so we can we can get the the food and serve it to the guest or public tad all right a different vlog i promise so this is the sauce ladle we use this for our sauce and this is a soup ladle we use this for obviously soup okay that's all for utensils identification or silverware identification again this is not silverware this is a prototype i'm gonna hold the camera now the cell phone it's gonna be um a little shaky so pardon me okay by the way i would like to thank pecit philippine electronics communication institute of technology because this is their laboratory for the um, hospitality management class. Okay, I'm going to show you um, glasswares. This is the water goblet. Para sa tubig. This is Poco Grande. We use this for cocktail, you know, when you mix wines and cordials or soft drinks or soda, I mean. This is Boca Grande. And in some restaurants, like where I used to work in a fine dining restaurant, we use this as, uh, we use this for water. Instead of using the goblet, which we use for banquet service, we would like to be a little different, a little more stylish, so we use Poco Grande for water. But again, this is a one of the cocktail glasses, one of the glasses that we use for cocktails rather. And what you have here is a white wine glass. This is used for, obviously, white wine. You see the way I hold it? I hold it by its stem. Because it has a purpose, hindi lang siya arte. It's not just an art. Because it is said, and I notice also, that your body temperature can affect the taste of the wine. That's why if you hold it here, it can affect the taste of the wine with your body temperature alone. 
not to mention no, let alone the room temperature so this is the white wine white wine ideally is perfect for white meat in the old world but now some wine company they use white wine for beef menus but nonetheless let's go for the old fashioned okay this is the white wine mas pahaba mas elongated now i'm going to show you the red wine this is mas round siya this is used for of course obviously red wine okay so see the difference Medyo elongated si white wine and then si red wine rounded. Okay, and then we have champagne flute, obviously used for um, uh, champagne or sparkling wines. Okay, um, as I said, white wine is used for white meat. We order this to complement the white meat that we order. Red wine is ordered to complement the red meat that we order. Now, what if husband and wife or boyfriend and girlfriend ordered differently for a la carte? For example, the girl ordered grilled lapu-lapu and then the guy ordered T-bone steak. Parang ang hirap naman that the girl will drink a whole bottle of white wine and the boy is a whole bottle of red wine. So the perfect choice would be a sparkling wine or champagne. Because champagne goes with any dish. With appetizer, from appetizer, soup, salad, main course, dessert, light course. This is perfect. Sparkling wine or champagne. Now, just a little trivia. Every champagne is a sparkling wine, but not all sparkling wine or champagne. It can only be called champagne if it was made in the, some champ <laughs> in the champagne region of France. All right? Same thing with cognac. Every cognac is brandy, but not all brandy are cognac. If it's not made in the, in the cognac region of France, it cannot be called cognac. It is brandy. Okay, so this is champagne flute. Unfortunately, I don't have champagne saucer, which can also be used for champagne. And then we have the highball glass. Now the highball glass is used for soda or other mocktail or cocktail. Okay, uh, there are different sizes. There are 8 ounce, 10 ounce, and 12 ounce. This is uh, 10 ounce. Now 8 ounce is used if, you, if a guest ordered fresh juices, you use the 8 ounce. And then 10 for concentrated juices or soda, cocktail or mocktail, you use the 10 inches. Now, ideally, if the guest ordered iced tea, then you use the 12 ounce or Long Island tea, the alcoholic beverage or cocktail, then it is uh, perfect if you use the 12 ounce highball glass. Now, we have the brandy snifter. <laughs> there. We use this for cognac and brandy. With this one, you cannot hold the stem alone because Perfectly, if you ordered brandy straight up, of course, without ice or cognac, you can do this because your body temperature also can affect the taste of the brandy or the cognac and it is more perfect if you, if it's gonna, if the taste will be different using your body temperature. Okay, brandy and cognac. Um, in some country, especially sa mga malalamig, they use cognac and brandy straight up no they drink it straight up meaning no ice or not uh, wala siyang hindi siya on the rocks okay in tropical countries na change yun. in tropical countries uh, when we drink brandy we put ice okay we have the pilsner glass marami pilsner glass pilsner glass is used for beer Meron tayong footed na pilsner glass. Meron ibang itsura din ito. Pero perfectly, this is used for um, if you serve beer sa fine dining, especially sa mga babae. You use this. Sa mga lalaki, then mug. Pero if it's fine dining, do not use beer mug. <laughs> okay. And then we have the Irish coffee glass. Ito yung coffee na binrood na tapos niluluto pa sa harap ng guest. 
Sana makagawa ako ng vlog yan someday. I'm gonna show you how to do, a, do an Irish coffee. Yung may umaapoy. Papaapoy mo muna. Lalagay mo muna. Lalagay mo ito ng brown sugar sa tip. Lalagay mo ng alcohol. Papaapoyin mo para mag-caramelize yung brown sugar. Pag nag na or habang umaapoy na yung Irish whiskey, then you put the coffee and the whipped cream. Sunod, i hopefully magkaroon ako ng time pa to vlog that. Now, we have, uh, this is not, uh, you don't use this for drinking, this is the carafe glass. We use this to decant, we use this to decant red wine, especially yung mga old wines, if you want to take out the sediments, o yung sa Tagalog, latak. Uh, Magpa-vlog din ako nyan, hopefully habang nandito pa ako sa Mindanao. Uh, habang meron tayong magandang facilities na pinrovide ng PECIT. Ayan, this is carafe, this is used to decant wine. Uh, the way the, the, the reason you decant wine is because you wanted to remove the sediments because you don't want to drink a red wine with sediments or a lot of sediments so you remove it and you use another clean carafe or clean bottle like this okay all right so now I'm gonna move a bit I'm gonna show you different trays this is the bar tray this is used for glasses only. Wag lagyan ng food. Then, sabi ko sa galaw ko eh. We have the rectangular tray or the food tray. We use this for food only. Please do not put beverage in here. Yung iba kasi sinashortcut na ang service. At ang mga supervisors and managers, they allow that to happen. Sana hindi. Then we have the oval tray. Here you go. Jaran, this is used for food. There are much bigger oval trays like this that can fit uh, six plates. This is the tray stand. So I'm just gonna put it back. Haba na yata ng vlog ko. It's running 17 minutes, but I hope this is very educational for you guys. Okay, so I'm going to show you a setup. This is what you usually see when you go to the hotel. You see? This is the dinner knife, this is the dinner fork, the bread and butter plate, and the butter spreader, dessert spoon, dessert fork, salt and pepper shaker, and the flower arrangement. Of course, the table napkin folding. Ang ganda niya, pero pinaghahawakan ng waiter. So ideally, we don't use this too much. Pero for showmanship purposes, yan, pinapakita ko ang ganitong klaseng tiklop, the shell or the Spanish wall. So this setup is called the English setup. Yan ang foundation ng lahat. Pag ganitong setup din, ibig sabihin, posible na ang restaurant or ang pinuntahan mong dinner where you were invited is buffet. Kasi walang plate dito at walang kubiertos dun mo na kukunin sa buffet. So this is, again, English basic set up. So, what I'm going to do right now is to add a show plate. This is 14 inches in diameter. 12 to 14 inches. Then, if I put, di ba kanina, English basic, if I put show plate, then this becomes American a la carte set up. Okay, so, pag ito, I'm just gonna get the two glasses, a little help in here. So, ayan na, two setups na siya. So, if I'm gonna put, ayan, lagyan natin ng goblet. <laughs> Kalimutan ko kanina. O, ulit, ulit, o, take two. Okay. This is the English basic setup. Yan. Woo. English basic setup. Kompleto with water goblet na. Pag nilagyan ko siya ng show plate, then, you see, it becomes American a la carte. Tapos, Sa fine dining na pinagtrabaho ng dati, ganyan ang setup namin. 
Okay. Pag nilagyan ko siya ng spoon at nilagyan ko siya ng red wine glass, you see? Goblet, water goblet, red wine glass. Now, meron na siyang dinner spoon, meron siyang dinner knife and dinner fork, bread and butter plate with butter spreader, salt and pepper shaker pa rin, parang English basic. Dessert spoon and fork. Pero dinagdagan ko siya ng red wine glass tsaka dinagdagan ko siya ng spoon. Then it becomes Russian a la carte or Russian setup. So, ang pangalan na, pangatlong setup na. So, what if tanggalin ko ito, yung spoon. Tapos, I'm gonna put salad knife, salad fork, additional No, additional yan then I put white wine tingnan nyo ah oh. dinner knife salad knife dinner fork salad fork may show plate pa din may bread and butter plate or BB plate butter spreader dessert spoon and fork salt and pepper shaker now this setup It is now called the French setup or the French à la carte. I think because ang mga French kasi, you know the French, the French people, <laughs> French na people pa no? uh, French people, they, they, uh, kahit merong appetizer soup salad main course, you know before they eat, they order cheese first. Yung may Capri de Jou, Camembert, Emmental, <coughs> mga blue cheese. They eat first before, they eat cheese first before anything else. And then after they eat, hanggang sa dessert, no? After they eat all those, appetizer soup, salad, bean course. And then they will order cheese again. I think the idea there is to cleanse the, the, the digestive system, the intestines, before you go to the main event. Again, this is what we call the French setup or French a la carte. This setup actually is, uh, I, I am using this setup, you know, para, uh, what you call this? Uh, I was, um, but this, is, uh, this is derived from the ASEAN Masters setup. Again, ah, this is from ASEAN Masters setup. Kung sa Philippines, we have TESDA, NC2, NC3, this kind of qualifications. This is ASEAN Masters setup. As you can see, the bread plate nga pala, you have an option. Like this, this table kasi is very maluwag. So, I put the bread and butter plate in here. Pero if it's too tight or sikip, you can put the bread and butter plate bread and butter plate there pero pag sinetap be a little meticulous yung dinner knife should be straight to the uh, butter spreader then ang um, dinner fork a uh, dinner knife nagkamali-mali na yata ako nakapoint dun sa water goblet you know dito sa Mindanao they call water goblet goblet But of course, respect. Okay lang. If that's how they wanted to, to call it, so be it. No? So, um, pagka magsisetup naman tayo, so tatlong setup na ba yung naituro ko? I, told you Engli- I taught you English basic, American a la carte, French a la carte, and then the Russian a la carte. Dagdagan na natin, apat, gawin ko ng anim, yung ituturo ko sa inyo. Ayan. Gawin ko ng anim ha, kasi ano ako, eh, galante ako mag-share. And pagpasensyahan nyo na kung uh, masyadong uh, magalo itong camera. Because as I've said, wala naman akong katulong mag-video. Yan. So, I'm just gonna add this. Tapos, hintay lang. We are going to get something. I have a surprise for you. Nakakatuwa ito. <laughs> So um again salamat sa PCIT for allowing me to ano to use their facilities. Anyway, I teach here naman. 
I teach here. So, sana yung mga naturo akong estudyante, marami naman kayo natutunan, and you were able to retain what I am trying to teach. Yo. Okay, so running 25 minutes, okay lang yung vlog. At least, you have, I think you have learned a lot of things. Okay. Okay, guys. Pag ganito ang setup, with a very basic yan na. Pag nilagyan mo na siya ng ganito, it is called American Breakfast Setup already. Dinagdagan ko lang siya ng underliner. As you can see, the underliner should have uh, a mark like this, yung bilog. Kasi stopper yan. Kasi di ba the American Breakfast, no? Americans kasi, they like to eat cereals first, so we put a cereal bowl. And then we put the coffee cup, coffee saucer, and then the teaspoon, sugar, creamer, and then the coffee. Now, iba-ibang setup ng restaurant. Some restaurants, they set up their teaspoon like this. Pero doon tayo sa old-fashioned way, which is 3 o'clock. Yan, naka 3 o'clock. Kasi diba 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock. 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock. So, naka 3 o'clock. Ayan. So, there you go. Pero kung ayaw ng guest ng coffee, gusto niyang palitan, gusto niyang magtsaa, then palitan niyo lang ng teapot. There you go. That's the teapot. Anong difference ni teapot? Mas maliit. Si coffee, mas matangkad. Now, what's gonna happen? Tanggalin ko lang yung teapot ha, sa coffee tayo para sobrang ano common. Now, what's going to happen now, guys? This is American setup, no? So, this is what's going to happen. Tatanggalin ko yung show plate, underliner, tsaka yung um, cereal bowl. Ito lang iwan ko. Then, this is called the English breakfast. Yan. Di ba nagsimula ka niya lahat sa English basic setup? naging American a la carte naging Russian a la carte naging French a la carte naging American breakfast na setup ngayon it's English basic yan so there you have it yan yung utang ko sa inyo ngayon uh, tonight we were able to identify the utensils identify glasswares I taught you different setups pati mga train na ginagamit again my name is Romel Elibria I am a TESDA Technical Education Skills and Development Authority Accredited Competency Assessor for Tourism Sector since 2007 for Food and Beverage Services NC2 and NC3 Front Office Services NC2 and Bartending Assessor NC2 I'm just waiting for my renewal kasi nga pandemic So again, this is Romeli Bria If you're new to my channel, please subscribe Hit the notification bell, hit the like button and share uh, Please help me so I can help this uh, people who wants to learn food and beverage services in the tourism industry, strategic mar marketing and management, and at the same time, pag may gala ako, pag meron ako mga ride, yan, nag-vlog nag din ako niyan, mga napupuntahan ko lugar. Hindi ko lang binablog yung iba kasi, ngayon na ako. So, have a good day, and stay fit, careful, love lots. Romeli Bria. Bye-bye.